Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Bari and in today's video I'm going to be doing my audition tape for Hell's Kitchen 2025. So in my audition tape I'm going to be showing you how I cook my signature dish and I'm hoping this signature dish is good enough to get me on Hell's Kitchen as I really want to showcase my potential for somebody who has no culinary experience whatsoever. So the signature dish that I'm going to be making is quick, easy and simple, just like me. Apparently from previous seasons, this dish is one that tends to get good reviews from Chef Ramsay and this dish is going to be beef mince tacos. So as you can see in my kitchen I have all of the necessary ingredients for my tacos which like I said are quick, easy and simple just like me. So I've got my beef mince, my pre-made salad because of course I cannot be bothered to make my own. My pre-made guacamole because I also cannot be bothered to make my own. Then we've got the seasonings. So that includes this taco seasoning mix, salt, pepper, Maggie Simply Good all-purpose seasoning, Schwartz season all seasoning, and of course, pre-made taco shells because I also cannot be bothered to make my own. So now that I've pretty much shown you all of my ingredients, I'm going to basically cook the dish. So let's begin. So as you can obviously see, I am not a professional chef whatsoever. I'm just a humble receptionist that works for a council. Even though I don't possess any culinary training, I do have a GCSE in catering that I acquired in 2015, which makes me more than qualified to enter Hell's Kitchen. Now, I really want to use this competition as an opportunity to showcase my raw skills, which are just as raw as the beef mints I am using. But not so much raw in the sense that I don't know what I'm doing. Raw as in I have the talent. So right now I'm cooking my beef mints in the pan. And obviously, I need to brown it before I season it. And as I cook the beef mince, I'm going to multitask by adding my taco shells straight in the pan so that I can brown them off. The thing is with cooking is that it is a form of art. It's something that takes a lot of precision as well as time. And I guess one of the things that's probably essential for winning Hell's Kitchen is not just knowing your product, but also treating your product like it's your baby. So basically what I'm trying to say is that it's very important to value your product, which is exactly what I am trying to do here. Now, even though I don't have culinary experience, I really think I have the potential to make it to black jackets. It's very hard to tell if I will win the season, but I think I exhibit the natural qualities that a head chef or an executive chef even should possess, which is not only the skill and, of course, the raw talent, but also the drive and the tenacity to learn from my mistakes and the ability to bounce back. So as you can see, I'm trying my best to flip my annoying taco shell.
And right now, I'm also making sure that my mince is being cooked very evenly. So whilst my mince is browning, I'm going to pretty much prepare the seasonings. The salad is obviously the main ingredient that isn't going to take as long because salad doesn't take long to prepare. And since I've been innovative by getting a pre-made salad, I think it shows that I have the ability to take initiative in the kitchen. So I'm going to add all my seasonings because I know Chef Ramsay is very persistent on seasoning and tasting food. So I've got my salt, pepper, Schwartz seasonal seasoning, Maggie all-purpose seasoning, And of course, the legendary Old El Paso Taco Seasoning Mix. So, I guess I can say when it comes to cooking, I'm very on point with my flavours. You know, I'm a person that loves good flavour in my food. And I learned from the best, my mum. So if you look here, it's very clearly obvious that as per mentioned, I'm multitasking by doing two things at once. And you know, you've got to do that in the kitchen. And I think another thing is during services, there's no time to cry. There's no time to get a migraine or whatever. You just got to do what you've got to do to win. But, like I said, I've got the potential. So now, I'm going to finish off doing the rest of my taco shells and my mints. Then, I'm going to present the rest of my signature dish. So, yeah. So now that my signature dish has already been prepped, I'm going to do the assembly. So I've got all my stuff. I've got my salad, my homemade, sorry, pre-made guacamole, taco shells, and most important ingredient, the protein, the mince. So, here is my bowl, and now I'm going to assemble the food. Just trying to get a bit of everything, if I can, that is. It's mostly lettuce, but oh well, at least we've got something. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> This is very authentic. Well, not really, but you get the point, don't you?
Okay, so now that the tacos have been assembled, we're going to add the final touch with the homemade, sorry, pre-made guacamole. It's just going to give that a little bit of a stir. And there you have it. And there you have it. My completed signature dish of beef mince tacos. If this won't get me into Hell's Kitchen, I don't know what will. <laughs>